Okay guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to unbox the Sherpa 100 AC from Goal Zero. Traded this thing in for my Yeti 200X. So let's go ahead and go ahead and unbox it. All right. So this literally just came in probably an hour ago from UPS and uh, I'm pumped to open this thing. I, uh, I'm not sure exactly what to expect. This is the first like smaller or like the first power bank, I guess, that I got from Go Zero. I call the 200X like a solar generator, portable power station thing. This is like a little step down in terms of power, but it's like a it's like a beefy uh, power bank because it has an AC port on it. I guess that's what uh, my terminology is. All right, so here it is. Check that out. So let me give you a close shot of that. Let me get this plastic off. There we go. All right, so they call it laptop plus tablet power bank. Oh yeah, it's got the wireless charging pad on top so you can charge your phone on there. Um, let's see. It says it's got a ton of stuff here. We got the charging pad, USB, all that stuff, you can probably see all the different stuff. I'll show you once I open this thing up. And then I think we're gonna see it from, from this angle. But we got the power bank here, built in wireless, works with key charging, means no more cable worry. All this stuff is pretty sweet. USB C P D has two of those, so up to 60 watts for those. That's pretty awesome. Um, and then AC outlet. So 100 watt AC port, I'm pretty sure it's 100 watt. Uh, maximum you can't go over it LCD L, or what is it LED screen OLED not sure what that means and then you could charge it from a solar panel so that's pretty cool don't have any solar panels yet but I'll probably invest in one sometime soon all right let's go ahead and open this so, look at that that looks pretty sweet so here it is. I think it weighs just over two pounds. It's just about two pounds. This thing's cold. Very cold. Should probably charge that up soon. Uh, before I go into it specifically, let's see what else came in here. So it looks like there's some instructions underneath. Kind of looks like a like an Apple product a little bit. Yeah, it's like very fancy looking packaging. So nice. On Goal Zero's part for packaging. Uh, all right. Let's open this. Probably just some basic instructions, user guide. You got a charging cable. That's it for that. Quick start guide. Pretty simple stuff. Basically just talking about what's in it. User guide, of course. This comes with like, I'm pretty sure all their products. All right, and then we have the five inch adventure charging cable. Look at that adventure. So it's cool. Lightning, uh, USB to lightning. Very cool. So I don't need to use my iPhone charger if, I, if it's, uh, if that's a long enough cable, that's pretty cool. Then we have a USB, -C, USB C. This is actually perfect for me because I have a GoPro that I just got. Um, and this is going to be great because this only charges via USB and I, or USB C and I don't have any other ones. I have like one USB C charger. This is gonna be great, actually. All right, and now for the main product here. So this is a really sleek product. It's it's probably an inch uh, of thickness. It's got a little fan here, probably for the AC uh, inverter. We have this little um, screen cover. Love tearing that thing off. Look at that, very cool. All right, now I'll show you all the ports here. So, first we have the 22 volt max. This is the uh, portable solar panel or just solar panel charger. We have the two USB-C PDs. Power button, I'll turn that on in a sec. The check button, I have no idea what that is. I don't know any of these buttons. Um, then with standard USB A's, and then we got the AC port. I'm so excited to use this thing. And then this is the keypad. And that's it, so then, you can see the battery here is just under 100 watt hours, pretty big. 
for a uh, like a power bank. And so what happened here, I know a lot of people, for the people who have uh, followed me for a little bit, I had a Yeti 200X, the AC port actually blew out. I have a video on that and I have all the Yeti 200X videos and unboxings on my channel. However, that one, the AC port blew out. And so I traded it in and I said, I would love to have this because this just seems like it's more up my alley. I don't really need a, a big, a battery like that was and I wanted something more portable so I uh, asked Skull Zero if I could exchange the 200X for a one of these and they said it was cool because they're the same price on their website and I thought it was a pretty nice trade-off so uh, yeah that's how I got this but overall it's very sleek and then we also have here a micro USB connector it looks like this is Oh, this, so this slides out. That's pretty cool. I really like that feature so far. Obviously, I haven't used it, but it seems very cool. I'll uh, give you a little material info. So this is rubber, straight up rubber on this. And then it looks like this is a vent. I really don't know what that is, but this material here is rubber. And then uh, the cables especially are very uh, durable um, feeling, very durable. You could clearly see that it's a little more beefy than a typical just iPhone charger or any sort of uh, USB connection. And then we have the inside here is all rubber, very nice. This is metal, I think. It's very cold, so it's gotta be metal. Uh, the key charging pad is plastic, I believe. Uh, plastic here. And then this, these are like little rubber uh, grips, so if you wanna set it down on anything, you can. And that's about it. I, the Gold Zero also has the Sherpa 100, I think it's uh, DC. And then that, that just doesn't have the AC port. It has something else in there instead. But let's go ahead and power this on. See uh, what we're at power wise, if anything. Huh, I'm not getting anything from here. I may just have to charge it. But um, yeah, I'll go ahead and get back to you on the charging and um, yeah, I'll see you in a sec. All right, I think this camera angle is correct. Um, so I just connected this to um, a charging source. And so I just have the USB-C uh, PD connected. So uh, it's it had no battery in it. So it must have, it, maybe it was very cold out and it kind of drained the battery. I'm not quite sure, but it's at 1% right now. It's kind of sketchy. Um, when I got my Yeti 200X, it was partially charged. It was like, I don't remember the exact charge, but it was higher, um, so maybe 70 plus percent. So uh, hopefully that doesn't really do anything to the battery. Um, but I'm actually not sure if this is, this. I believe this is a new model. Um, I know that with Goal Zero, when you have the warranty and everything, I believe they could send you either a refurbished or a uh, or a new model. So this looks like a new model. I honestly don't know, but looking at the percentage, it's it, to me it's a little uh, alarming that it's at it was at zero. It's at zero percent when I connected. I'll let you know how that goes throughout uh, my my time with this system. But here you have the AC port, 100 watts. And uh, let's see if that turns on. Not turning on yet, but I'm sure that once this thing gets a little more full, hopefully that will uh, turn on. And then we just have these other ports. I still have yet to know what these are. I have to look in the manual, but I'll show you what this thing came with. So not only does it have a pretty decent, let me do a two, three foot USB-C, um, or USB-A to USB-C cable, it has a USB-C to USB-C. It has a USB-A to micro USB. And then it also has the USB-A to lightning for iPhones. And then I'll give you an overview. I'll just look over the manual real quick. But we have, this is just a storage port. So I can pretty much put any port that I want in here just for storage. And the other ones I'll just have to figure out, oh, and there's another storage one here. So that's pretty awesome. So overall, I really like this 
look of the system. I like the feel. I pretty much like everything about it so far, but we have not tested anything out yet. I'm not going to overdo this like I did in the Yeti 200X uh, test, but overall, great, uh, great product so far, and it feels kind of like an Apple product, which I think is a compliment because it's just uh, nice construction, great packaging. So, so far, so good. Uh, I'll keep you updated on my progress with this and my use with this system. I don't intend on using it a crazy amount, but um, I'll keep you updated. So lastly, subscribe and hit the bell if you enjoy more videos like this where I go over different systems that are um, like power banks, solar generators, all that sort of deal, solar panels, off-grid technology, and like the video and comment your thoughts on this. And I'd like to know if you have one of these, let me know. And uh, any questions, please let me know as well. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.